Hello my peaches what's up i am pratha and welcome to today's video today i'm going to talk about i've already done a perfume dupe video but today i'm going to talk about some body mists that are dupes to high end perfumes and that's the whole vibe today super excited to share these with you okay a disclaimer in case of body mists they can never be exact dupes they always smell like slightly diluted version and i have a few fragrances here that are kind of similar to something else or maybe like a part of them is kind of similar to those so i'm going to mention them as well just in case you are looking for something in the same vibe but not they're not going to be exactly same i will keep mentioning that alongside so without wasting any more time let's quickly roll the intro Now the first perfume that we are talking about is Kayali Eden Apple. I know you guys have been asking me to try Kayali perfumes from such a long time and I definitely will do, but I think I'll try them in just miniatures because I don't feel like owning the full bottles on them. So yeah, no particular reason is is that it's better to own 20 ml for the kind of collection that i have right now i will never hit the bottom of a 100 ml bottle for sure so for that reason i am trying to get the miniatures in just one go someday i'll be sitting here talking about them but kayali eden juicy apple when i looked at the notes and i think i saw some other youtuber as well talking about this body mist being a dupe for the dupe for the kayali fragrance and that is winter candy apple when i looked at the notes on that and then the way that this smells i just feel that they are pretty similar to each other i really really like winter candy apple it's like my like go to apple crispy apple but like super sweet candy like apple fragrance i always feel that it has this yummy juicy apple in it and the muskiness is kind of lifting the whole thing and making it even more fresher for some reason and it's a juicy candy like sweet happy crispy apple fragrance in here and i really really enjoy this and i'm all the way halfway is down with it so i really really like it and moving on to the next one next perfume that we are talking about is yasl libre i have been wanting to own not libre but the intense version and i've not been able to find a smaller packaging in it and also i am just holding back a little from buying designers because lately i bought like 3 4 designer fragrances so yeah for that reason i'm holding myself back but one thing which is like super super similar and kind of exactly same like that of yasl libre is fairy tale from bath and body works now this has completely different notes but it has the same uh, orange blossom floraliness in this and the vanilla beans in the base just like vasel libre vasel is a combination of lavender and vanilla but this on the other hand is a combination of mix of pomegranate nectar and orange blossom and vanilla bean but in the air they both kind of smell similar they are so 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 similar to each other absolutely love this one as well and i have mentioned it so many times i like it a lot it might not smell very smooth in the bottle or in the cap or on the first spray or for the first one hour but later on somehow it develops to be a very very beautiful and you know like smooth kind of fresh vanilla fragrance so that's what i really really like about it and i always say that fairy tale comes off as a very fashionista and you know very fashion updated kind of a girl fragrance to me and it's like super modern and super fashionista sort of fragrance now the next perfume that we are talking about is jean paul gautier's label i have a small sample of this and i got this sample from mintra because I did not want to invest in a full bottle like it's literally like 8 to 9000 rupees 
and I was curious about it. I just wanted to know why this fragrance is so hyped, why everyone says that it's so sexy and so versatile at the same time. And I totally see it. Full, beautiful, sexy kind of still green, sweet and deep kind of fragrance which has a lot of vanilla to it so i really really like it it's not like your super feminine vanilla but more like your super sexy kind of vanilla which has a lot of things going on in it and something which is similar to it is dark kiss from bath and body works now dark kiss is again i won't say that it's exactly same but definitely has the same kind of vibe like that of jpg label there's the fruitiness and the sweetness and the greenness that is there in both of them is kind of similar this comes off slightly denser but this comes off like slightly lighter and more on the green side of things the greenness is not that prominent in this but this also is a super sweet dense sexy nighttime kind of fragrance for summers or even for winters i think this is an all year round fragrance and i have wore it quite a lot and i generally what i do is that i mix both of them together and then wear them and when they mix together when i layer them they just project like anything so yeah super projective this on its own is more like a perfume i have to say like a um, good performing perfume not like a 20, 12 hour or 24 hour but more like a 6 to 8 hour lasting kind of perfume that you get with dark Kiss, pretty similar i have to say the vibe is quite similar the next perfume that we are talking about is baccarat rouge 540 we have so many dupes in the market for it now that the list is never ending but a mist which is quite similar to it is in the stars and i absolutely love this one i have always been telling you guys that how much i like it Lately, I have kind of got bored of it and I reach out for it less because I have so many new, interesting, fruity, sweet fragrances in my collection right now. But this has not completely got out of my mind. I, I still like it whenever I smell it. Just another fragrance that I have used up, have made quite a dent in it. I do agree along with that cloudy sweetness that it has it has the herbaliness as well it does kind of smell very very slightly smoky and a bit masculine for some reason i don't know what's doing that oh it actually has white agar wood to it so probably that um slight masculine smokiness that it has is coming from the white agar wood but otherwise i just really really like it if you're looking for a dupe or something similar to baccarat rouge 540 i don't know why would you look for that because now we have so many options in the market then you can definitely look into in the stars the next one that we are going to talk about is lancome idol it's a simple floral feminine kind of fragrance and something which is similar to it is a fragrance that i have already decluttered have been holding on to it for quite a long time it's beautiful it's sexy grown up and it's super nice and that is you're the one from bath and body works i have decluttered it because it's majorly rose which lancome idol is so i do like it because it has a mix of strawberry nectar to it along with the rose notes but i have this tendency of getting bored with rose like super quick so for that reason i have decluttered many you know rose fragrances in my collection i just don't you know get along and keep on i cannot keep on going with rose fragrances for a long time so for that reason i have been very careful lately in buying my fragrances uh especially the ones that i'm buying for my own self so i do not go in the direction of rose these days and for that reason i decluttered it but i think it's a very beautiful simple but beautiful and a grown-up take and a very romantic take on a fragrance so you're the one is definitely something if you like florals and even if you don't like florals and even if you don't like rose for once you will enjoy it a lot because i too enjoyed it quite a lot initially 
but then because i got bored of it so i decluttered it the next fragrance that we are talking about is replicas coffee break the dupe that we have is fireside flurries now if you genuinely ask me instead of coffee break i find it to be more close to replicas fireplace now this has this smoky woodiness mixing in with marshmallows that makes me feel that it's quite close to maybe like a very diluted lighter lifted version of replicas fireplace because that one is sweeter denser smokier this also is a little smoky like the woods in this are a little smoky and the marshmallow is like this toasted marshmallow so that whole thing is kind of adding a sweet smokiness to it which makes me feel that instead of coffee break it's more close to replica's fireplace and that's the dupe that we're talking about the next fragrance that we're talking about is midnight fantasy from britney spears now uh blackberry fizz is from victoria secret is said to be a very close dupe of that but this is not available in india so for that reason i have two more options for you which are like have the possibility of being available one of them is very much available right now and the other one is not now blackberry fizz is like a super fizzy berry drink like berry juice mixed with soda and then some added sugar and that whole fizziness brightness and also some citrus in it so that citrus and berries and you know that whole drink kind of a thing in here is super super beautiful now something which is similar to this and is missing the citrusiness i would say is yes missing the citrusiness is prismatic stars from bath and body works which is very much available right now this again is a berry fizzy kind of a drink but it sits into a white muskiness so if you it's slightly different from blackberry fizz for sure but that slight muskiness is not my personal favorite i don't like it that much because i have blackberry fizz so i prefer using this only and prismatic stars has the same fizziness but it's not as yummy or as drink like the like that of blackberry fizz but is definitely quite close to it i can say it's like an 80 percent similar kind of a fragrance with that of blackberry fizz and another fragrance which is like a denser version but like a sweeter denser juicier version is winterberry wonder another berry drink which is ah, which is so similar to to blackberry fizz but it is sweeter and it is denser it misses that fizziness in it so it's more like a berry drink kind of a thing in here so if a sweet berry fragrance is what you're looking for i promise i'll do a berry collection video for sure very soon so winter berry wonder is something you can look in the direction of because given a choice between all these three I think my top pick for summers will be Blackberry Fizz from Victoria's Secret and for all year round will be Winterberry Wonder and Prismatic Stars will be a total pass for me because Prismatic Stars is not taking my heart because of that white muskiness that it has but the citrusy ness in Blackberry Fizz is super beautiful. So you can look into these three fragrances if you're looking for a sweet drink like berry fragrance now the next fragrance that we're talking about is juicy couture gold couture now we all know that kingdom heart of gold from bath and body works is a dupe for it it's a beautiful caramelized fragrance which has the crisp gold apple creamy vanilla bean and warm sandalwood i just feel that it has like a 10 percent of that fresh laundry like dna from the original gingham but then rest of it is kind of taken over by that crispy apple and caramel caramel is not mentioned here but i do smell a strong caramel note in here so it's like a sweet caramelly but not too dense kind of a light caramel fragrance like this is the only caramel that i have which is so light and airy so i think the crispy apple is kind of balancing it out really really well and yes has the uh sandalwood which is warm and a lot of vanilla to it and it's just beautiful it's 
again a very very beautiful fragrance to be wearing in the summer times if you if you are a sweet fragrance lover and you want a light and lifted caramel fragrance in your collection this is definitely something to look into whenever it comes back in stock a very loved fragrance of mine is shirosa 71 and it's hard to find a dupe for this it's like a true gourmand fragrance oh my god i love it so much it is a caramelized vanilla and macadamia fragrance it is so super yummy it is like a bakery smelling of some freshly baked cookies or a freshly baked cake more like the you know those doughy cookies the soft cookies or the short breads something like that so it's that yummy and those shortbreads are in a vanilla flavor oh like caramel vanilla and warm bakery that is what i smell in here it's super beautiful super yummy has completely taken my heart this is on top of my gourmand lists for sure and a dupe that i have for this is happy birthday from bath and body works i think even christmas cookies is a very similar fragrance because you guys in the comment section told me that christmas cookies and happy birthday are the similar fragrances but then Christmas cookies is kind of repackaged with happy birthday. Now happy birthday is not exactly same. It has a bit of syntheticness to it, which I have to mention. If But if you have not smelled this and you get this, you will not be disappointed. So this is a very, very yummy kind of fragrance, like another a cakey or a, a shortbread kind of a fragrance. But have to say that this is slightly lifted, lighter and fluffier compared to Shirosa 71. This is like denser, sweet and warm and oh god, so 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 beautiful and, and so much like this exact Gaumont fragrance. This on the other hand is an also a Gaumont fragrance, no doubts about it. One, it comes with a bit of syntheticness. Two, it's like a lighter, lifted version. Uh which is more on the sugary side of things i just smell the sugar in it instead of caramel that one is getting the caramel sweetness through and through and this is getting the sugary and cake kind of sweetness in here and whipped creams and all of that good stuff so pretty close not exactly same but like a lighter version of it the next fragrance that we're talking about is Khayali Vanilla 28 and the dupe that I have is Bare Vanilla Decadent. This is a beautiful brown sugary vanillic fragrance which is slightly smoky and sweet woody in the base. It's very very beautiful and it has the agar wood in it and it has the deepness, the richness and has the warmth from the amber. So it's more like this regular bare vanilla but mixed in with some smoky sweet woodiness and the sweetness is more like that of a brown sugar instead of a white sugar. Intoxicating, it's like a vanilla fragrance lover's heaven for sure for the winter times and i like it so 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 much and if it ever comes back i would highly recommend you to grab this one but if you cannot get this one and if the untamed line comes back because untamed is kind of missing that smoky sweet woodiness but definitely has the brown sugary deep rich take on the actual bare vanilla so if you cannot find this then you can definitely go for bare vanilla untamed for sure the next perfume that we are talking about is la Saab's girl of now i actually have this bottle with me it's i think discontinued i don't know why that happened in general the la Saab line is not very easily available right now in india for some reason or maybe just they are planning to launch something new that's why the previous fragrances are being discontinued so this fragrance is a pistachio fragrance and it has the notes of amber and patchouli in it 
which kind of ruins it for me like if it would have been pistachio almond and amber it would have been a great fragrance for me but the patchouli is kind of killing the sweetness that is there in this fragrance and this never developed as a sweet fragrance on me and i'm not the only one who has experienced this some other reviewers and some of you guys as well have been saying that this never developed as a sweet fragrance on you and the dupe that i have for this is coco vanilla from bisac now this the sweetness that was missing in Elisa for me is very much in here. It has the same warm amber with patchouli in it, but then also has this super sweet note of vanilla in it. And it's a beautiful oriental body mist, which is super long lasting and potent. And for a body mist, the performance on these is really incredible. So it's like you can get Elisa in a sweeter version, on a budget, and very easily available in India with Bisac's Coco Vanilla. The next perfume that we are going to talk about is Dior Addict. And I, this is, this one in particular is just a guess. I tried Dior Addict somewhere on the airport, but the tester bottle was completely out of fragrance. So there was no juice left in it and I could never try Dior Addict anywhere. And the dupe that I feel that it is a dupe for it is very vanilla from Bisac. Now Dior Addict has the notes of vanilla and sandalwood mixed together. Those are the two major notes that I remember. And in case of very vanilla, that is exactly what we are getting. Now this is a sweet woody powdery kind of vanilla comes off as calming and classy but also sexy to me like slightly sexy not like super sexy but this sweet sandalwoodiness mixing in with vanilla is so beautiful it's not like a very complex fragrance but it's really impressive for some reason it is calming and it is impressive and a compliment getter and a beautiful summer or winter fragrance like all year round fragrance for sure and for some reason i just when i tried it when i wore it and read the notes on it and then i went uh, and read the notes of dior addict i just felt like because dior addict has been in market for such a long time and i believe that bisec kind of gets inspired by some other perfumes and then make their own fragrances which is i'm not complaining because i love the quality the projection on all bisac products so yeah i just feel that this is pretty close to dior addict and if you want to wear something like sweet sandalwood vanilla kind of a fragrance then definitely look in the direction of this now the perfume that we're talking about is benetton hot now benetton hot is said to be a it's in itself a dupe for a uh, Chanel Allure. Now it's a warm citrusy fragrance. It's a weird combination of citrus that does not smell zesty or fresh, but instead it smells warm and zesty at the same time. So that's what we get in here. And that's what we get in Chanel Allure and has the woodiness in the base. And one thing which is quite similar to this is golden ocean pearl from bath and body works now this too is i somehow enjoy this quite a lot now i just feel that this is like slight bit creamier in comparison i don't know for some reason i feel that way about it but this also has the exact same kind of warm citrusiness to it like lemon which is mixing in with amber and from start to end is smelling warm so citrusy and warm at the same time and this also has a bit of woodiness in the base which is not mentioned in here the notes instead are bergamot breeze vanilla orchid and golden amber but i strongly feel that it has some kind of woodiness to it which is adding a depth to it and making it smell like this which makes it smell like chanel a lot for sure like something in the same lines for sure and 
it won't hurt your pocket if it at all it comes back and you're looking for a very professional smelling fragrance then definitely look in the direction of this because this is going to be very very easy on your pocket for sure now the perfume that i want to talk about is yes i am from casherel very recent purchase of mine not very recent i can say i bought it around three months ago but I really, really like this fragrance. Now, the dupe that I'm going to suggest to you is not actually a dupe, but more like a suitable layering combo. That is Basic Vanilla from Victoria's Secret. Now, the lictonicness that this fragrance has, I can say that this Basic Vanilla is through and through a very, very warm, milky kind of lictonic fragrance. I just really, really like it. It has the notes of toasted marshmallows and warm chai. And to me, this smells like a lychee dood for some reason. This also has the notes of licorice, licorice, licorice. Don't know how to say it. I'll come back to you guys some other time and correct myself on that. So Yes I Am has the uh, lictonic notes, the milky notes and... Uh, which is mixing in with cardamom and you know all that milky goodness that it has in the base is very much similar to this so when i first tried it and the for for a bit when the milkiness in this was shining quite a lot i was just thinking about basic vanilla from victoria's secret and i was like that the lictonicness in both of them is so 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 similar but the only thing is that they can be a good layering combo they are not exactly similar to each other just that that one portion is similar because this has the floraliness in the top and in the mid which comes down and mixes with that lictonicness which kind of makes it a very beautiful classic kind of fragrance which is you know sweet and smooth lictonic but floral at the same time like some kind of cosmetic like a vintage cosmetic that would smell perfumey and sweet and smooth for some reason so that is what it smells like to me this is a different take on a fragrance this is something that i love so much oh god ah i'm gonna put this one on i'm gonna take a shower in this i can always do that with this one these two can be a very beautiful winter layering combo you will not you'll have to mix some kind of floral with this fragrance to get this fragrance so yeah that's that's the best i can tell you for now okay the next fragrance that we are talking about is brazilian boom boom cream this is quite hyped it is expensive and everybody wants it but not everybody affords it and then we have shirosa 62 which comes in combination to this but i feel that boom boom cream is more sun tanny sweeter and warmer this on the other hand is slightly lighter but more like a powdery pistachio almondy fragrance because the sandalwood pistachio and almond is quite prominent in it and it's not as sweet as the boom boom cream so i feel that these two are like slightly different fragrances from one another and not exactly the same it's not like that what you're getting here is exactly what you're getting in here but something similar to boom boom cream is sunset glow from bath and body works so i can say that this is a dupe for boom boom cream and you can happily grab the body cream or the body lotion in this if you really want to smell like all over smell like sunset glow sunset glow does not have any dry fruit note to it like nuttiness but coming from the coconut which does not exactly smell like the pistachio and almond combination that is there in it so keeping this out of the way because this and this are two different fragrances in my opinion now this one is it's fresh it's sun tanny but warm at the same time and it kind of smells like the golden hour on the beach when the sun is shining its most and the brightest right before going down so that is what it smells like to me and it just smells like a fresh body lotion but 
you're on a warm beach right now and is majorly floral but still has this very tropical vibe to it for some reason let me read out the notes to you just to make it a little easier for you to understand it has the fresh coconut sparkling cherry saltazar dreamy moonflower caramelized vanilla so that whole vanilla and fresh coconut the coconut is not warm not powdery and not creamy it's more like this very fresh kind of like a coconut which is mixed in with floral fragrances that kind of coconut and then the sparkling cherry is kind of adding a juicy brightness to it and then florals and caramelized vanilla caramelized vanilla is definitely giving the sweetness that is there in boom boom cream so i think if you're looking for this and if you don't want to buy this i can totally understand not all of us can even i don't want to buy this to be honest i just feel that this is beautiful it's nice but i would not like to put that much money into a body cream so sunset glow and you can always buy a body lotion or body cream in combination to this so this is the deal another recent addition to my collection was dark velvet oud now this is a dupe for shagaf oud or i can say lancome oud bouquet because the two are very similar to each other and this can be like a lighter brighter version of it to my nose it is so damn similar to shagaf oud definitely not that long lasting because this is a body mist to my nose it is exactly same the same sweet rose and oud combination that is there in it so i can say that it's a dupe for lancome oud bouquet it's going to be your fragrance if you like those oud fragrances and you like that combination of sweet rose and oud if not if you find that combination to be very very arabic just like me because i find it to be very traditional and arabic then don't go for it but if shagaf oud is something that you really enjoy and you want to smell like that on a budget because the prices have gone up insanely on swiss arabian fragrances if you're looking for something which is similar to shaga food do look into dark velvet oud and you will not be disappointed and you will find a very similar fragrance to that i want to talk about is tom ford lost cherry it was hyped so much when it came i tried it in sephora and i was like taken aback when i tried that fragrance also because i tried it in summers i feel that it's a very winter appropriate fragrance and the dupe that i have for it which is not exactly a dupe but has the similar kind of vibe maybe like a lighter version of it that is cherry elixir number 33 from victoria secret now cherry elixir i do like it it has this sour dense boozy cherry in here and then the almond cream mixing in which is like it's a weird combination of and a very thick and dense combination of sour cherries bitter almond and creaminess mixing in and the cherry is like super super dark and heavy i don't know how my brother called it an after shower fragrance anybody in this planet who would smell this fragrance would not call it an after shower fragrance at all this is like a super dark and dense and boozy kind of a cherry in here which is smooth from the almond cream and i think that boozy notes and the almond mixing in is kind of bringing that bitterness out in it and the almondiness in it is also kind of reminding me of hypnotic poison for some reason but yeah i would like to say that this is like a diluted lighter version of lost cherry from tom ford and i would like to close down the video after mentioning one more dupe this is again not exactly a dupe but has the similar kind of vibe with that perfume because i have really really liked and fell in love with it and i'm talking about prada la femme the moment i tried buying it the prices went skyrocketing on it and i could not make up my mind to buy a 10000 rupees fragrance and that is when i found bahama's passion fruit and banana flower now i'm not saying that these two are exactly same but the floraliness the freshness that it has is pretty similar to prada la femme and 
it's a juicy pulpy fleshy kind of like pulpy fruits and fleshy florals mixing in with a lot of sweetness in the background with a lot of freshness to it which is not sharp and rather is a smooth fragrance which is beautiful compliment getter super feminine super beautiful for some reason and not exactly like that of Prada LFM but I find it to be quite in the same vibe so yeah for that reason I really really like it and really enjoy it I also have a backup of it and I just keep on repeating myself every time I mention this fragrance so I feel that it has a very similar vibe to that of Prada LFM I just feel that Prada LFM is more on the soapy side of things and this on the other hand is more on the fleshy floral pulpy side of things so that's the difference that i feel about them but it's a must consider kind of fragrance if a fresh pulpy fleshy floral is something you are looking for and that ends my list for body mist dupes and i really enjoy making collection videos for you guys and i think the the feeling is kind of mutual you guys also really like uh, watching these long collection videos and i feel so 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 happy with your sweet comments whenever you guys say that you know um you really enjoy my videos and none of my videos can be too long also um have never done this on my channel but and i really want to thank aditi also known as that quirky miss for mentioning me every now and then you know what i want to tell you this that she and me we don't know each other we've never had a phone call conversation i just slide into her dms every now and then that too i'm not regular with i'm not a like a people pleaser kind of a person to be honest and this girl never fails to mention me every now and then and th that just fills me with thankfulness and with gratitude that she without expecting anything from me always always mentions me and i really want to thank her from the bottom of my heart i don't know her we have never met never talked nothing at all it's just that i watch her videos every now and then and she watches mine that's what i'm believing so yeah i'm really thankful aditi for your mentions and with that i'm gonna close down this video if you're still here watching me and liking me don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up down below keep looking beautiful keep smelling good and have a great day all see you in the next one bye bye Mwah.